Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our video. So today I got a different kind of video for you, but nonetheless, I think very important and comfortable for everyone. So with this method, you can easily connect your wallet to any chain or any network you need on the blockchain. Of course, if it supports the MetaMask wallet. So I will actually show you both ways because I think the standard way is also important to know. And if you don't know it, I will show you on the end of video and I will show you a trick how to keep your MetaMask wallet safe in the future from bad websites or potentially bad websites. I will go ahead and show you my account right now. This is my dummy account. And as you can see, I have only my Ethereum uh, network connected here here Avalanche and Binance. So let's say I would like to connect the Phantom uh, network to my wallet. In order to do this I will go to this website chainlist.org uh, that I will leave a link in the description of this video and I will just connect to this website. So now after my MetaMask wallet is connected, you can see my address connected up here. Uh, I will go ahead, go to the Phantom Opera and just click add to MetaMask and this will automatically uh, drag the data uh, to this network over here as you can see the chain ID the URL and the network name and also here yeah the symbol of the network so for phantom uh, it's FTM and the block URL scanner where you can see the data from this network I will hit approve and then I can switch to this network so as you can see if I click on my metamask right now you can see the phantom opera added here so I will go ahead and add the Polygon as well and the Kronos as well because I think those six uh, chains are the most important ones and the most used ones. So as you can see right now I got all the six chains over here and now I will show you how to keep your MetaMask wallet safe. So the easiest way for someone to steal your money is having access to your MetaMask wallet and in order to keep yourself safe from that you have to disconnect those websites after you use them or maybe you are not really sure about the background of those projects or websites and you have to you want to be safe so in order to prevent this you just go uh, to your MetaMask click on this little three dots over here and you go to connected sites as you can see, I have a bunch of websites connected over here. This is my like a dummy account, so I don't really uh, keep an eye on that. But let's say I don't really trust this website and I will just go ahead and disconnect this website from my wallet. And what this means, they don't have the access to my wallet anymore. So if you keep, keep the eye on that, you minimize the risk for you to getting hacked by this. And as well, this website, the chain list, I will disconnect as well because um, let's say this is a trusted website, but if they get hacked, the hacker will gain access to your wallet as well through their data. So I disconnect them. And right now I don't have any accounts connected and this is how it looks like. Now I will show you the old school method, how to connect a network to your MetaMask wallet. And I think it's really important to know this because you will just understand more how this uh, whole blockchain thing works and how a network is connected to your wallet. So let's say I would like to connect to Polygon mainnet. In order to do this, I will just go to Google and type Polygon MetaMask. And this is the hard part with the normal method because you can maybe get something sketchy up here, a shady website that doesn't really connect you to the right network. So you have to look up and see uh, from the links over here to search for a more uh, legitimate source. Let's say docs.polygon. And what I like to do over here is to open two websites that I think are pretty legit. So I went ahead and opened this website, which is the docs of Polygon and a medium and a medium article over here. So now if you go down and scroll over here, uh, we can see the data mm, of this network and on the other website as well over here. And I like to compare those two to each other and see if they are uh, similar. So they appear to be exactly similar. And what you normally would do over here is just go to your MetaMask wallet again, click on the pop-up over here and click the add network button and you will just copy the information from the website you searched uh, here 
and on the end you will just go ahead and save. So yeah guys, this is it for the video. I think this video is very helpful and it's super easy to add a network to your MetaMask wallet with just one click. Uh, if you liked the video, please leave a like and maybe subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more and help me get the 1000 subscribers mark for me. Currently I am on 786 subscribers, which I want to really thank you for me because it means a lot for me. So yeah, have a nice day. Bye bye.